What's up, fourth graders? Today we're going to be solving multiplicative comparison problems. Let's get started. First, let's look at the word multiplicative to see what it even means. If you look at the root part of the word, you'll see a word that you're familiar with, multiply. So multiplicative comparison simply means comparing two things by multiplying. And there are specific phrases that are used in these types of comparison problems. Times as many and times as much. Whenever you see those phrases, you know two things are being compared through multiplying. All right, let's look at our first example. Brayden has a Lego tower that's four times taller than his little brother's tower. His little brother's tower is three tall. And how tall is Brayden's? Well, we're told his little brother's tower is three tall, so let's build that. Now we're told that Brayden's is four times taller. Four times means that it's four of whatever his little brother's is. So if we make his little brother's four times, we'll have Brayden's. Or we could simply multiply three times four to see that it's 12 tall. The key phrase that lets us know to multiply is four times. Next example. Rectangle A has an area of three squares. Rectangle B has an area five times as much as A. So let's first draw rectangle A with three squares. Now we know rectangle B is five times as much. So we can make five copies of rectangle A simply multiply 3 times 5 which gives us 15. So rectangle B has an area of 15 squares because it's 5 times as big. Last example. In our class, Ayana cut out 4 stars. Her friend Naomi cut out 6 times as many stars. How many stars did Naomi cut out? Well we start with what we know Ayana had. She had 4 stars. And we're told Naomi had 6 times as much. So if we made six repeated additions of what Ayana had, we'd get what Naomi had. Or, we could do the simplest thing, multiply four times six, which gets us 24. So to sum it all up, remember that whenever you hear the phrases times as many or times as much, that it's multiplicative comparison, which means to multiply to find the quantity. Thanks for watching. See you next time. using Powtoon.